Rub up your engines! Well, even Ford CEO Jim Farley says that he drove his F-150 electric lightning pickup truck and said he got a reality check about what a hassle it is to recharge the things, right? Because here's what he says. And then I'll tell you the truth behind it. It's a really good reality check. No surprise, charging can be a challenge. But still learning a lot, seeing firsthand the issues customers face. This is why we're working with Tesla to provide Ford drivers access to 12,000 superchargers. Our EV certified dealers are installing fast chargers at their dealerships. 15,000, access to 15,000 at their certified EV dealers are going to add more superchargers, right? Well, I just read an article by a scientist and he said that we will need millions of charges in the United States to make electric cars work. Millions. So if you're talking 15,000, you're talking a spit in the bucket, baby. A spit in the bucket. His reality, old Jim is still in his ivory tower. You know, he took a ride in one and said, oh, gee, it's kind of hard to charge these up. Well, we're going to get 15,000 more. That is nothing. You need millions of these things. So his reality check, of course, is not our reality that we live in, but the rich man's reality that he dabbled to see what the peons were doing and, oh, we'll make more charges for them. They need millions. Well, we'll get 15,000, you know. Hey, isn't that good enough? Hey, it sounds okay to me. I'm living in my every tower. What do I care, you know? <laughs> Okay, the rats are jumping ship. Warren Buffett's investment, Berkshire Hathaway, just sold about half of their GM stock. He's bailing on GM. He's saying, yep, this isn't a good stock to own now, right? You know why? Because he's not an idiot, and he sees them pushing this EV stuff. It's not profitable, right? And even GM admits they have problems. They got to cut costs, blah, 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 blah. If you're starting to make electric cars, you can't cut costs. You have to put more and more and more money. It's new technology. They're going to screw up. They're going to be cars that break, just like their bolts when they first came out. All the batteries went bad, right? There's going to be problems up the wazoo. And if you cut costs building them, guess what? People that do buy them, they'll be piles of crap. They'll say, I'll never buy another electric GM vehicle. And there it goes. So Warren Buffett, who his investment guru, right? He has dumped half of his GM stock. You might wonder, why didn't he dump it all? Well, if he dumped all of his stock at once, the price would really go down big. Of course, Warren's company, Berkshire Hathaway, made no comment on why they made the move. They made the move because they see, well, it's not going to be profitable. We're in the stock market to make money. If they're not making money, the stock's going to go down the toilet. Watch what happens every time a company says, oh, we didn't make our earnings. Oh, we're not profitable because all the electric car companies say, we're losing money now, but soon we're going to be profitable. Well, they're not profitable soon. So why do you think the rats are jumping the ship? Because they realize this isn't a good stock to own because they're not going to make a profit. And then I love it. You know, I love the horse manure that comes out. Listen to this. One of their analysts said, Warren is still a big believer in the GM story we believe despite this move. Yeah, well, don't listen to that horse manure. Follow the money. <laughs> Old Warren, he took almost half of his money out of GM. <laughs> <laughs> follow the money. Don't follow the horse manure that comes out of their mouths. They'll tell you anything. Oh, yeah, just like if you remember the prime swap derivatives that led to the giant worldwide recession, right? At the time, banks places were still rating these bonds as AAA, and they were junk bonds. You ever watch the big short? You could understand the whole thing. They knew this was garbage, and while they were rating them AAA, all these investor guys, they were selling to their clients. Okay, hey, we'll unload ours on the clients, telling the clients it's good. And then all of a sudden, pfft, it falls down. The recession goes. A bunch of people lost a whole bunch of money. But not the people who were doing the investing for them because they took their own money out and sold it to the clientele. And in this case, old Warren selling GM stocks like 22 million bucks worth. <laughs> Let me tell you, he's doing it for a reason. The reason is he doesn't think it's a good company. Well, Lordstown Motor just settled a $40 million suit against them for stealing technology and stuff and ideas. The hilarious thing is it was a $900 million lawsuit. On the other side, they accepted a $40 million kind of plea bargain, right? Hey, going from 900 to 40, you got to understand, Lordstown Motor is bankrupt, right? It's bankrupt. So now they're all fighting over the crumbs that are left over. Give you an example. The fourth quarter of 2022, Lordstown Motor sold three cars. Yes, just three cars in three months. 
of 2022. But between January and February 2023, in those two months, they sold six cars. They doubled their output. See, that's the thing where figures mean nothing. Lordstown Motors doubles their sales. Yeah, they went from three to six cars, right? No wonder they're bankrupt. <laughs> now they'll all be fighting over the crumbs and then all the tax breaks that Ohio gave them, that'll all be down the toilet. These people invest in these electric car companies. They gotta be fools. Of course, the guys who run it, they're all, they pay themselves millions, right? And they're gambling with other people's money. Well, if you're smart, keep your money away from these electric car people. Stay away from VIN fast. You know, that was now evaluated at more than Ford and GM. And it's just, you know, they've sold a handful of cars too. People are fools if they invest in these companies. They're unproven. Nobody knows if people will buy them. Nobody knows if the cars will even work. They don't even know how financially stable these companies are. Right? For example, VinFast, the Vietnamese company, 99% of the stock is owned by the president of the company. Right? He's only going to do what's in his interest. He owns 99% of the stock, right? Well, in the case of Lordstone, you had their stock, you'd be up the creek without a paddle because they're bankrupt and their stock is worth nothing. Well, you could say goodbye to the Nissan Titan pickup trucks. They're ending production next year. They're not going to build them anymore. What went wrong? Well, the weird thing is, they weren't bad full-size trucks, right? Yeah, they were gas hogs, but all full-size trucks are pretty much gas hogs. I mean, I had a guy just bring me a brand new Tundra with the V6 twin turbo, and it was a hybrid, and he only got 19 miles a gallon on the highway. So, they're gas hogs no matter what you do, right? Nissan, I guess, just couldn't compete with all the bells and whistles that Americans want. You know, they put them on the Fords, they put them on the Rams, they put them on the GMs, every bell and whistle you can think of, and Nissan just made good, reliable pickup trucks. Now, the problem is, they didn't sell enough of them. For example, the first half of 2023, they only sold 10,550 of them. Spit in the bucket. Hardly anything. They just didn't sell. Now, I have had customers with them, and they all love them. None of them dislike them. They're rear-wheel drive, and the rear-wheel drive Jacko transmissions are fine. They work perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They were decent pickup trucks, but they couldn't compete with the big boys, and now Nissan says, well, they're going to shut this Mississippi factory down for building big old gas guzzlers or pickup trucks. They're going to make electric vehicles. You know, they're all jumped on the electric vehicle bandwagon of course, right? It's kind of interesting because they were not bad vehicles, but they just didn't sell enough of them. And they didn't want to, I guess, get into the wars with Ford and GM and Ram because they spend a fortune advertising those things to sell so many of them. And Nissan, I guess they just thought, ah, we'll see what happens. And now, ah, we didn't sell enough of them. Goodbye. Well, it's now official. VinFast went on IPO on the stock market on the NASDAQ, right? And it's now valued at more than GM or Ford, okay? This is a company that sold a handful of cars in the United States, right? They're electric cars. They've only sold a handful of them yet. The stock market valuation of VinFast is $85 billion. Ford's is $48 billion, and GM is $46 billion. This is total insanity. But the interesting thing is, the president of VinFast, Mr. Wrong, he owns 99% of the stock, so he's making a lot of money for himself, right? I mean, even old Elon Musk didn't own 99% of the stock. Now, the funny thing is, of course, there could be wild swings because since he owns all that stock, the stock that's actually being bought and sold is a much smaller number. So, when you have, you know, if you know anything about stock, if there's only a small amount of stock that are traded each day compared to what the company's valued at, you can get wild wild swings, just like penny stocks. Sometimes penny stocks, they can go up 200% a day, and then the next day they go down 300%. I mean, it'll be an interesting ride to follow, but this guy just cashed in, you know? He made himself 39 billion bucks, and that's the thing. That's why people do it. Greed, profit, money. This is a company that sold a handful of cars in the United States, and all of a sudden it's worth all this money, yet the guy himself owns 99% of the stock. So, this is a real weird one to follow. It's not going to make any sense whatsoever. It's this guy's money. It's not like it's a real stock on a stock market where it's owned by all kinds of people. No, he owns 99% of the stock. Who knows? Maybe he'll start selling it off and cashing in, right? <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen, right? Who the heck knows what's going to happen with this stuff? But, kind of interesting.
interesting that it's valued at more than Ford and GM. And it's a company that just started making electric cars. Electric car bandwagon, I can't wait till the wheels fall off and I will be laughing at them all. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.